Kristen, from game one to game two, uh, what was your thought process you know, following that game and then going into that one? And, and what went well for you tonight? Uh, I think I was just trying to keep it simple, just trying to get better than I was last game. I think that was something that I wanted to improve was just be better tonight. And I think that was an easy thing to do for me. Rob Rossi. Tristan, um, you've had a, a knack for sort of responding. to. You haven't had many of the performances like game one, but when you had, you've, you've responded. I know you said you just want to try to get better. What are the things you worked on yesterday in practice? What were some of the things you told yourself going into this game? Uh, just stopping the puck, make sure I'm trying to stop as many pucks as I can in practice and just working hard. And I think that's the, the key that helps you get better is just working hard and I think pushing yourself. And I think that elevates your game. Mike Detavo. Tristan, just what was the emotion like to step out onto the ice and be the first star and hear the crowd? It's awesome. It's awesome to have our fans back in the building and have as many as we do. I think that gives us a huge boost and it boosts our team. You see the, the role that they play out there, being able to be behind us, and I think that helps us a lot. Chris Adomsky. Talk to you after game one. Did How did you kind of assess yourself in that game, and how did that kind of push you or guide you the way you prepared here for game two? Uh, I just prepared the same way I always would. I wanted to be better, and I think that was something that just challenging myself. I wanted to come out and uh, try and control as many rebounds as I could and just try and get in the way of the puck, and I think that was something that I was able to do tonight. A couple more, Dave Molinari. Uh, thank you for speaking with us, Tristan. Was there any particular time before the game or even after it started when you, you realized that you were really locked in and that, that you would have the kind of night that you did? Uh, no, I, I was just playing it how it lied. I think that was a big thing for me is I'm just trying to stop every puck that comes at me and try and put my best foot forward and just try and get in the way of it. I think that's all I could do, and that's what I'm trying to do every night. Dana Harner. Tristan, this morning, Coach Sullivan told us that he thought that you guys had another level to your game after Sunday. How do you guys feel like you got there tonight? Yeah, they're a great team and they play hard. I think just elevating our game and playing to our strengths, putting pucks in deep, putting pucks on net, I think that's the key to our success and that helps generate offense for us. Last question, Jeff Hathorn. Tristan, you were asked about the crowd. How about for you personally? They were behind you early and chanted your name often during the game. What is that? How does that impact you? It's awesome. It's exciting. It's exciting to hear that and you know how passionate our fans are and how much they, they get into the game. I think that's awesome and we love to see it. We love when they're behind us like that.